Good afternoon and welcome to a new vlog here on the channel. Something completely different today, we've never done this. Excited? Well, yeah, I am looking forward to it. As a lot of you guys will know, our favourite meal in the North East, the North East dish, is the parmo, chicken yeah. parmesan. So today we're going to attempt to make it with the garlic sauce and a bit of salad. Um, in the North East, our favourite restaurant that actually serves the parmo is Manjaro's. We love it, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah, they do the original like garlic that they have and it's unlimited. Um, so we're gonna try, fingers crossed. We've never, we've had many Palmos, but we've never actually made our own. So yeah, we'll take you through step by step. Because obviously, if you've been watching our vlogs, you may have heard us mention the Palmo in the past. It's, it is just mainly a teaside dish. Uh, like they do have it in Darlington as well. So a lot of you who may live down south or further down the country might not have even heard of the Palmo. Tyson Fury has heard of it. Yeah. You've seen that on the news. He got about 500 pounds worth of Manjaro's delivered to his house. Yeah. But everybody uh, up where we live, that they know what it is and yeah, they, we eat them quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, get straight into it then. Firstly, I'll show you what ingredients we are going to be using uh, to make it. Right then, so to make a parmo, obviously you do need chicken breasts. We are actually making them for four people, aren't we going to have uh, make them for your mum and dad as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, we're going to, it's going to be nice. Yeah, so if you're making them for four, uh, four chicken breasts, you need the panko breadcrumbs, you can just use normal breadcrumbs as well, mm -hmm. uh, butter, natural yoghurt and the milk. We're making uh, the betramel sauce, we'll show you how to do that. Yeah, flour and a bit of salad and obviously cheese. We've got the lemon and things for the garlic sauce. Yeah, we're gonna make, well. try and make homemade garlic. And I've never made homemade <laughs> garlic. Imagine if it goes by, and then we'll be able to make it every weekend. Yeah, so yeah, with Parmos then in a restaurant or takeaway, you tend to get chips. Uh, we're actually gonna make wedges. Uh, we, we do these quite often, don't we? Like garlic wedges. Yeah, they don't be easy to make, yeah. then. Just obviously we get there garlic and spread that all over once they've been peeled. Yep. Put them in the oven for about 45 minutes, but we like them to be crispy, don't we? Yep, so we'll make a start on the wedges first. First thing we're doing then is peeling the potatoes and then we'll chop them up. I can't actually peel potatoes, so I'm leaving Stacey to sort that out. It's not hard. <laughs> well, I can, you're just faster than me. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll start uh, chopping them up and then, yeah, we'll put them in the pan and that'll be them pretty much done. So we've chopped all of the potatoes, obviously making it for four people, we've used two pans worth and Stacey's now going to add the oil and the garlic granules. They're dead simple to make. I think you can make them loads of different ways and we put a bit on the yeah. oil in because I'd rather it'll stick to the bottom. We use like just the normal foil as well. Um, you can get these from anywhere. We've just got them from Asda today, garlic yeah. granules. I think we've got some more in the cupboard as well. I love garlic, so I can get into it. There we are. Yeah, and you don't have to be shy with this, because there's a lot to cover, so you just... Just get it on there. Load on, yeah. Depends on what you like. Some people don't really like garlic, do they? But mm. we love it. And plus, once it's all cooked, oh, look at that big bit. Once it's all cooked and stuff, and this is when I get my hands dirty. Yeah, and then you give it a good mix. Good mix, my hands are clean. <laughs> Goes on a baking tray. Uh, with uh, tin foil and then in the Big oven. Oil, yeah. yeah about, about 45 minutes, I would say. To an hour. an hour. Yeah. Nice and crispy, but these are lovely. We have them quite often, don't we? Yeah. Obviously, you can make them different ways. You can make like normal chips as well. Just cut them up like um, a bit, bit yeah, thicker. Bit yeah. Thicker. Yeah. We'll finish these off and then make the vegetable sauce. Yeah. 
So for the bechamel sauce then you want to start off with around 55 grams of butter in a saucepan on low heat. Yeah, well with ours um, it goes really hot <laughs> yeah. quickly so I've got to be careful with it. Yeah, also get ready around roughly 55 grams of flour and what we're going to do is just gently simmer it, gradually add in the flour bit by bit until it comes to like a thick paste. Yeah. This is, if you don't know, this is what we're putting on top of the uh, chicken breast. And Make, then the cheese. And yeah. So, yeah, and then we also want to be adding in a pint of milk. Yeah, just bit by bit. And I think once we add it all in, we cook it for around another 10 to 12 minutes. And yeah, we'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. is cooking in the oven or it's you know like a lower heat we've just done the bechamel sauce so as we were we're obviously following a recipe for this the first time we've attempted it and um, we were stirring it and it was a little bit runny so we we've been adding a little bit of flour to thicken it up and I think it looks all right I think as well when you first do it it's just getting that right like consistency, yeah, consistency yeah. Dep it depends how thick you like it we like it quite thick we like it quite a lot of it on the chicken so yeah that's the next thing we're going to do now is prepare the chicken breast so we've got our um, chicken breast fillets from Morrison's and Tom is going to attempt to butterfly the chicken next yeah. obviously it's quite thick so you don't want really thick chicken for your palm or you want it quite thin and even, even yeah so you just get a sharp knife and cut oh. horizontally Along, but not all of the way. Yeah. And then sort of like open it up like a book. And yeah, there it, we'll we'll flatten it down yeah. as well. So it's the base of your palm, or then you want to get like a rolling pin or something, and yeah, just like flatten it down. I won't uh, do that because <laughs> it's quite loud. Yeah. But yeah, we'll uh, do these. Uh, do the same thing to the other three, and yeah, we'll have our uh, chicken for the palm. Or. Right. So as you can see, I have now flattened all four pieces of chicken. Today we're going to show you how to breadcrumb them. Uh, so if you get one piece, firstly you want to put it in flour, so either side. So this is to make everything stick onto it. Next, dip it in egg yolk. We've just put two eggs in here. Again, either side. And lastly, into the breadcrumbs, we're using panko breadcrumbs so you can use normal ones if you want to give get, get plenty on it. It looks good doesn't it? Yep. Obviously it's the first time <laughs> we've, we've, we're attempting these. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be nice. They look nice. Just cover them. Try and get it quite even. And then you want to bring it to a frying pan. Put it on a low heat and for two minutes either side you want to put it into the frying pan yeah so we'll do the same thing for the other three yeah move on to the next step pieces of chicken bread crumbed and in the oven along with the wedges so while we're waiting for all of that to cook we're going to do our homemade garlic sauce I'm going to show us how we make that so I've already started doing one here so as you can see I've got a little Cold bit there. it's dead easy it really is strong <laughs> yeah you don't want 
Well, it depends how strong you like it. You don't want it too overpowering. Yeah. No. Just want a clove of garlic. No, it's not coming off. I don't want that bit in it there. I don't want the skin. And then this bit's fine as well to put in. And that bit as well. Right, so I've got my garlic together there. I've just made that. And now I am putting together the mayonnaise. It says around four tablespoons. It doesn't have to be exactly accurate, no, does it? Just it depends on how many people it's got. And obviously, we've gone for Stacey's Heinz mayonnaise. The best. I think we'll need a little bit more because we've got to think there's like four of us, isn't there? Yeah. Four tablespoons of the natural yogurt. I'm just going to put this in here because it's going to be mixed together anyway, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, so that's that all in there. Yeah. And, and we're doing the lemon. Finish it off. One of it, half a lemon. Squeeze all the juice in it. You can smell it, can't you? And then yeah. mix all of this together. Yeah. And then we'll get our nice garlic sauce. So I've just made the garlic sauce and it tastes so nice. It tastes really? just, it, I'm, really, I'm actually really pleased with it. Yeah. I'm going to make it every weekend when we have <laughs> something to eat. But now Tom has took them out of the oven yeah, and so he's going to do the vegetable sauce now. Yeah, so took them all, took them out. I'll show you how to do one. Obviously, if you're getting um, <laughs> like a pizza shop, it's gonna be different. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be more like uh, in the fryer. Yeah. Um, and they'll be a little bit bigger as well. Believe it or not, these are only like halves. Um, you can actually get full parmos from our pizza shops. I um, never finish a full anyway. I know. Yeah. So you want to give quite a nice amount on there and then we're going to put the cheese on the top yeah and then we've obviously grated cheese and quite a lot when you go to a restaurant or a pizza shop as well you can get like different toppings on so you can get like a hot shot one which has got like the pepperoni jalapenos yeah. mushrooms and things like that yeah that's pretty much it and that actually that looks oven. pretty good doesn't it, it does. i think see what the like on the right Right then, so we have finished making the chicken parmo with homemade wedges. Also added a little bit of side salad. And Stacey is going to take a bite, see what she thinks to it. I think for our first attempt. Yeah, they do look pretty good to be yeah, fair. They're cooked. Yeah. Let's try. Lovely. Really nice. nice. Yeah, really nice actually. Yeah. And you get the nice crispy bits which are the best. Yeah, we put the chicken in maybe about 20 minutes after putting the cheese on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now time for the best bit, heating it. Right, so yeah, for a first time attempt at homemade parmos, I'd say they were very nice, wouldn't you? They were yummy, yeah. enjoyed them. The garlic as well, just tasted like a pizza shop garlic. Yeah, obviously, Delicious. Yeah, the word is greasy, as uh, ones you can get from like takeaways. Uh, obviously it's not the healthiest thing to eat anyways, but yeah, they're a little bit healthier than what you can normally have. Yeah. Yeah, so I really, really enjoyed those for our first attempt. Yeah, so thank you for watching this uh, short vlog. Not sure when the next video will be on, obviously as you know in the current situation we're in, in lockdown. Uh, we'll try and think of something yeah, in the we, next couple of weeks. We obviously have another three weeks or so of lockdown, yeah. so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, we hope you did enjoy watching this vlog. Um, let us know in the comments if you're going to try and make it yourself. Yeah, we'll leave uh, in the description links to the recipes that we followed. And um, yeah, uh, you can get us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Just search for Tom and Stace. And don't uh, forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next